The U.S. Federal Reserve on Wednesday imposed another 75 basis point rate hike, the largest back-to-back -back rate increase in decades, in a bid to tamp down rampant inflation. The Fed has already hiked interest rates by 225 basis points since March this year, and is set to continue its aggressive path, which raises risks for a possible recession and brings negative effects to emerging markets. Are developing countries at the mercy of the dollar? Absolutely. It's, it's a tragic reality that some economies have enormously more power and more options than do this world's smaller economies. And that is essentially true by definition. That's what we mean when we talk about the different sizes and different levels of monetary power that different countries have. It is hard to be a developing country, just as it's hard to be a person who is poor. The strong dollar hurts developed nations. The dollar is getting strong hit 20 years heights against other currencies. When the dollar appreciates the cost of the service debt in the other countries, particularly in the emerging markets, can quickly become unsustainable because their debt is not denominated in their currency but generally in dollars. The inability to borrow abroad in their currency is a constant source of the problems that plague emergency economy. They cause capital flow volatility liquidity crisis, low credit rates, and general instability. U.S. government Federal Reserve increase their interest rate make U.S. dollar currency very strong compared to emerging market local currency. So uh, it will create incentive for investors to pull out the money from those emerging market back to their original countries. Second is depreciation of local currency, making their U.S. debt more expensive. Third is they have to pay more interest rate to pay for the debt. So overall, it's very bad. A slowdown in U.S. consumer spending will have less demand for export coming from Malaysia and ASEAN country. One concern about the U.S. slowdown will also drag down the global economy. I think the other uh, impact is the financial channel. Because of the expectation of higher interest rate, uh, that will ca cause a lot of volatility in the financial market and also in the exchange market. That will also impact on Malaysia financial market and also ASEAN uh, in the sense that you have a higher interest, uh, US interest rate and stronger dollar, which also means that the emerging market currency will be weakened against the dollar.